Dr. Homden first uh, started the first week of recovery for hysterectomy and um, also had some cysts and some quite a bit of endometriosis. I, I keep remembering things and I um, so I think that if I don't do it now, I won't remember because I see a lot of videos that show women that talk about the first stages the first week and then three or four weeks after when they're feeling better. But I hope to help those of you that are struggling like I am. I have highs and lows. I have emotions. I have bloating. I have periods of when I have to go to the bathroom really bad. I'm exhausted. Sometimes I'll fall asleep with the TV on and the lights on, which is not like me. I like quiet. I'm having times when I can't sleep at all, and I wake up at 3 a.m. and I pace. Walking helps a lot, but it tires me out completely, physically, mentally, um, emotionally. I'm really, really struggling. I'm really struggling. Um, a friend of mine, bless her heart, I love her, said, so you're back to work this week? And I'm like, I, I can't even imagine getting in a car, putting on a seatbelt, putting on pants. It, it just even isn't in my realm of possibility. So my doctor says to call him, my surgeon, I'm going to do it. I just want to know if this is normal and what I can do because, as I said, my pain meds are gone. I don't have any food. I'll be fine. But it's just a challenging thing. So prepare ahead of time for this and understand that you're going to go through all this stuff. And it's normal, they tell me. Heather Homden, signing off. Feel better.